better than a mask. Talk to the faucet. Hey, you taped it to my head. I could cut all of this away and get more space. Chipping, cutting. Time for big guns. This is definitely the nastiest job I've ever been doing. Tell me again, why are we doing this? You and your camera. That's why I'm the technical person and you're the video person. My wife dresses so amazing for breakfast every morning. I'm always dressing for my husband. <laughs> this is a take two because we only did record the first one. On the first take I was saying that I, I'm dressed as a doctor but then I kind of started and it's not nice to say that. So I decided that in case my granny is watching, I'm dressed for my it's husband. It's not for the doctor. <laughs> yes, it's for my husband. That she didn't know who it is. I know it's a guy. That because what happens is that the paint forms a connection with the metal which the can is so be very careful not to get paint on the can yeah, I have to clean it out afterwards I find out later Ooh, nice and last time this is what Yana did when she was yep, you did that you was mixing it here be very careful that the painters have proper experience. You little um, goat. <laughs> <laughs> here is because the shaft seal if you don't constantly adjust it water builds into this location it's salt water you don't really look at it constantly and suddenly you get all this area that's kind of rust i'm going to cut a great big square out of here now to place this steel uh, the good thing is that the tube that the shaft goes through is so thick that it's not damaged like i was afraid of as i was Really worried that we were going to have to somehow cut this whole shaft tube out. Thank God that's not the big issue. The shaft comes from this tube, goes inside the boat. What we're going to do here is we are going to cut off this flange, grind this nice and smooth so I can slide over the new dripless style unit that replaces packing. Won't have to ever worry about dripping, seal issues. And uh, right now, because this is a metric tube, I have to find the next size larger, which is not metric, and then make an adapter. So I'll slide an adapter over the top of this and then slide the shaft seal over the top of it. So right now what I need to do is kind of grind this away and get a good me measurement. Because we have relocated the mizzen mast, this was the old mizzen mast pipe and support for the mizzen mast. Now I move the mizzen mast 22 inches back, so I've drilled for a new pipe. That will go down into the keel substructure of the boat, 
and it'll go up and support the base of the new mizzen mass location. So if I absolutely had to, I could cut all of this away and get more space so that I could maybe even add a second spare down there. So if we ever have a problem, I can slide another one on. I don't know if that's really gonna happen because uh, I've got too many other things currently that we're in the middle of doing. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to cut the steel all the way back to this support. Well, to this support and to here, so I'm sure that this whole area has been replaced. Right now, I've got to get the crop done. So my legs uh, keep itching, so it wasn't the water problem. That's why William brought me to MCH Medical Center. I made an appointment and I was so optimistic. I'm like, the doctor gonna <laughs> help me. Um, probably have an allergy or whatever. We came here, I'm banging on the door, trying to get my appointment at 10 and guess what because of my english i didn't understand on the phone when i was calling that they accept the patients only online so i was supposed to have an appointment um, by phone because of the uh, covid so we're used to driving 45 minutes for a coffee we can drive wherever to uh, have someone take a look at us, but to look on the phone and say we have issues. I decided that I'm not going to be calling. Make appointments anymore. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we have decided. Double thickness of those stupid little masks that people are running around with that don't really do anything other than keep your cough inside. Now we're ready for it. I don't mind painting so much. It's much better than cutting the fiberglass. I just don't like masking and any kind of accurate job, despite I was a dentist, doesn't work very well with me. But as always, I'll try to do my best. Sometimes this best doesn't fit William very much. Connection off, and look what broke down here. 
broke out of the pipe. What is it pipe for? Well, it's supposed to provide water that then goes through this pipe and lubricates the seal. Well, but you don't need that anymore because it's a seal. Well, we're still going to lubricate, but I guess I'm going to put a new one here now because this one looks like it was glued. This is why you check everything out when the boat's out of the water because if this would have broken as we're going, there's almost impossible to repair that. And I was afraid of that when I was test when I resurveyed the boat. This was something I moved and I saw it do that. And I didn't want to touch it. So this was a grease packing that was not working. More scraps. Oh yes, look at that down there was was broken and it was totally rusted out. That's a hole into the tube and fills the tube full of grease. Well, that's what was worrying me. And now I don't have to worry anymore. Because it's now cut out. What the good news is the tube is in good shape. But the grease packing will no longer be needed because of the new seal we're putting back here. But I'm gonna have to plug this hole. Hey, you taped it to my head! <laughs> You're supposed to tape it to the fabric, not my, not my head. It's better for the husband. Waxing. Waxing your leg. Deep breath, William. Yeah. Deep breath. Another project. Check it out. This is one of the best places on earth. <laughs> I'm gonna ask William to tell you guys what is it all about. This is where we the new dripless shaft seal system and this is a propeller shop that you can send your propellers your props and they computerize balance them tune them clean them up they do they do struts anything that you need for the boat here is done right around the corner from the marina and the interesting part is that this is the largest place in yep. the in the world in well, Florida, where? Probably in, in the u.s it's one of the largest they ship all over the countryside all over south central latin america so they've got maybe 25 bridgeport mills they've got a computerized mazak they've got a full machine shop so they make the struts they make everything that you need for the bottom running gear 
And they even make brand new uh, rudders if you hit. Some of the props in there are all twisted and bent from hitting stones. So it's a hidden jewel. The name of the place is called <laughs> FJ Propeller Miami. I think it's FJ, no, FJ. FJ. FJ Propeller Miami. Yeah, there's, there's. FJ Propeller Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Look at There is one other prop shop here that is the largest in the wherever, but uh, they take a lot longer. They're twice the price. And these guys will do things very, very fast for you. The other guys, you got at least two weeks to a month. You know that when you see dogs chasing a truck, that's how Yana is when she sees a food truck in Miami. She's learned very fast that there's so many delicious foods. It's like going to little Cuba, but they come to you. Naturally, she speaks three words of Spanish and the food truck guys speak one word of English. So it's always interesting for me to see how she navigates Talk to the faucet. Hello, I'm starving too. We don't video when we're.